Hey, what's up, guys? This is your boy Travis back again here at Big Boy Toy Reviews. And today we are taking a look at another Marvel Legends X Men 97 Gambit, or should I say Marvel Studios? I guess this is, is this technically Marvel Studios? Is this not Marvel Legends? Oh, it is Marvel Legends. Okay. So it does say it on the back. Um, so, yeah, these, these card backs are kind of trash. But, uh, yeah, there's Gambit on the cover looking really bored and uninterested in being a action figure, which is what I pretty much will say about uh, this figure. <laughs> it's very uninteresting. Uh, I do want to point out this, that he has this, uh, I guess this crotch piece here. Um, and he doesn't have that on the packaging. I just noticed that. So this piece, I guess you can, I don't know if you want to call it a crotch piece, but uh, how this is sculpted, it's not like that on the packaging. So it's already incorrect. See on the back. Yep, back is just a render of the figure, which looks better than the actual figure itself. So that's a typical Marvel Legends. But anyway, that's it for the packaging. Let's uh, take a look at the figure. Um, he is decent. Um, again, very shiny in places that aren't typically shiny, <laughs> but they're not shiny in other places. Um, well, I don't know. Maybe he is shiny in the right places. Um, they keep using these legs, man. I don't know. So let's, let's, let's start off here. We got, we got no pins here. And we have pins here. So this is, these legs aren't new, I suppose. Um, I have no clue if this is the same body that previous Marvel Legends Gambits used. Um, I'm not quite sure if the jacket is the same. I know this is a new head sculpt, I believe. I don't know if the hair is any different, but... I do like it. I do actually like the hair on this one. Um, there's not much to it. Um, the let's get a closer look here. Um, so I do like. I do think the painting is done well here, even though it's not accurate to the source material. Obviously, this paint is different than this color. These two colors are completely different. I don't know if it's coming off on the camera, but these are not the same colors. Um, the paint on his leg here, the pink paint, is a bit rough. Um, I'm not quite sure what is going on. Sorry about that. Yeah, so the uh, paint on his legs are not great. Um, it's kind of running in a lot of areas. There you can see it up close. They did not paint the peg. Why? I don't know. Because Marvel Legends. Same on this side. And it's... I think the paint is... No, it's still rough. So that's not great. Um, I do like his boots. The boots are fine. Um, I guess it's pulling off that metallic look. I guess. Um, the the piece that's this um, piece that's going around his chest. I think that is done pretty well. I don't. I would. I want to say that's probably molded and not painted because this down here is supposed to match that and this looks much more metallic than this. This doesn't look metallic at all. 
Um, as far as his head sculpt is concerned, um, he's okay. I mean, the head, the face looks all right. The paints are not great, as you can see. You see a lot of the skin tone on the mask. So that's not great more on this side than this side. So apparently they can do it. His stubble looks less like a an adult and more like he's, um, I don't know, 15. So his little stubble here is not great. Uh, the eyebrows are done nicely. You can barely see that his eyes are red. Um... The ears are painted not great. Yeah, they're they're fine. You can kind of see the black peeking through. They probably could have used another coat. Um, this one's really messy. The hair sculpt is really cool though. I like the hair sculpt. The hair is done really nicely. I will admit that I really like the hair sculpt. Would have looked a lot better with some with like a. Um, like a dry brush or some kind of uh, shading. But the sculpt itself is really good. Seems a little big though. Um, he's using a ton of hair grease if he can get his hair to stay like this. Just saying. Um, the jacket is very uninspiring. No shading anywhere. No shading in the arms very plain down here luckily it's somewhat of a soft plastic so it doesn't hurt most of the poses that you would probably put gambit in uh the hand paint is clearly is clearly uh cast in black or sculpted in black or excuse me it's clearly uh Flesh painted over black, I should say. Um, and this one, I had I, I had a few to pick from. And so I tried to pick the one with the best hand painting. And this was the best one they had. Same on this side. Got mold lines in it, mold lines. So I always hate that. Uh, but the jacket's very plain. Very, very plain. Um... But uh, yeah, that's it for aesthetics. I do think this is a bit too shiny. Um, if I were to take a look at other uh, the other gambit that I have here that I'll show you later in the comparisons, I'm pretty sure this is also supposed to look metallic. Um, it doesn't, it just looks shiny with no shading, no dry brushing, or anything. And they still charge you $27 for these figures. So there you go for that. Uh, there you go with that. So that is it for aesthetics. Let's move on to accessories. Alrighty, so here we go with accessories. Where are we not focused? So he does come with um, his weapon. I think his weapon is done in a nice metallic. So I wish that he was more painted in this metallic. In both the pink and the purple or bluish purple that he has. But it's very floppy. But what, do you, what would you expect? So he comes with that. He comes with two effect pieces. He comes with his cards, which are not painted on the other side. So I guess you can only show it from this side. Um, other than that, it's okay. The uh, cards are done nicely. They're done pretty good. Um, they're not terrible, but why don't we paint the the other side of the cards, I'm not quite sure. This hand is not done very well though. The paint on this hand is kind of, kind of sketchy. And there's no hinge or anything in this hand. I don't know why. Is it because this is all technically cast in this purple 
plastic and and that maybe because uh i guess like clear plastic is well, gets a little more brittle and maybe they couldn't put the hinge there i don't know but the paint isn't great on this hand and then we have the last accessory and it is the last card the last ace and same and cast it in that same pink uh, plasma effect, I guess. Still not painted on the other side. And that is it for accessories. So another lackluster display of accessories for Gambit. No extra heads. No extra fist hands. Um... No other effect pieces, $27. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get on to articulation. Alrighty, so as far as articulation goes, you can look up that far. This, the way that his head sits on the peg is really off-putting. He's very... I don't even know how to describe how this looks. It's not great. It's very, I don't know. I don't know what you would call that. He's just, he, is, he looks weird. Um, so he doesn't look great when he looks up. When he looks down, he's all right. Again, same ball hinge as they do because they can't do a double ball pick, right? So why not use this crappy joint forever? Um, the only reason I think you get side to side because his head is wobbly as fuck because of the way it sits on this peg. It's way, It sits too high, and so he's just a wobbly mess. So you can get some kind of... Uh, nuance posing out of him just because his head is just a, a bobbling mess look at the back of it so yeah that's horrible looking uh as far as his shoulders are concerned he can get them up this high so past horizontal or past parallel he does have a bicep swivel here he has a single he has a single uh hinge joint for the elbow that goes slightly past 90. So I guess that's fine. It's kind of loose, but not terrible. He does go back not very far because of the jacket. He can go forward pretty good, so that's nice. Um, he has a weird uh, waist twist because he doesn't have a belt so he gets really disjointed looking he can turn his ass all the way around to the front uh as far as legs he can technically get them apart that far um if you move the jacket out the way but that's as far as he can go with that the joint is very ugly clearly clearly looks very old like like this is a old um from the from the waist twist down it's just an old marvel legends uh, um sculpt so uh uh thigh swivel is there this is as far as our as far up as he can get his leg it does kick out to the side a little bit not the worst i've seen again with the joints that have pins in them his his um his calf this part of his leg bottom part of his leg is way too long it's it is noticeably way too long um in comparison to his thigh so that's kind of off-putting uh, he does get a boot swivel down here for whatever reason, uh, cause it doesn't look great when you use it. So I don't know why that would even be there. Uh, as far as his feet go, this one is kind of stiff so he can go down that far and up that far. And then he does have a D 
decent ankle rocker. So you don't really need to use it does eh, it does veer off a little bit, so you might need to use that boot swivel, but you can just use the thigh swivel at the top because it's covered up by the jacket anyway. So the boot swivel seems unnecessary. But that is it for articulation. So as for comparison, so go ahead and give him a little bit of a pose here. Even though he's just okay. Um, here he is with the Mafex Gambit, which is the best Gambit that is in existence now, right now. He is taller than the Mafex Gambit. Here he is next to the Jim Lee Cyclops from Mafex. He is also taller than him. Here he is next to his woman, Rogue. Uh, and here he is next to the Mafex Jean Grey. I'm just going to throw them all in there because I guess, I guess I can probably put them over here. But uh, there goes Jean Grey. But that's just it for some uh, size comparisons there. All right, for my final thoughts, it's an okay figure. Um, if you have a, if you have a uh, gambit already, I don't see why you would need this guy. I did want to mention that this is a floppy mess in his hand his pole is a floppy mess in his hand it doesn't it barely fits in there um so that's really a shame look at it it is an absolute floppy mess in his hand so um marvel legends will marvel legend but anyway if you uh, need a gambit in your collection he's not terrible for a gambit I don't think his head is too big or anything like that. The proportions are fine. Uh, most things can be posed away with his jacket because his legs are kind of thin and gangly and not great. But he is supposed to be kind of a skinny guy, I believe. Skinny, tall guy. So I guess you can... I guess you can wave that off as just him being a skinny guy, but uh, unfortunately, he is just okay, like most Marvel Legends. I have noticed now since I've been buying them uh, recently. So that's it for the review. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe, and until next time, peace.